Okay, I managed to pick this up last night on Kijiji, my favorite shopping place. $50 six inch chuck. And it's a name brand's made in the US. I'm trying to focus. Come on. There we go. 3806 Skinner Chuck Company, New Britain, Connecticut, made in the USA. And you can see the little logo here. It's got an alligator in the middle. You can barely see it. It is uh, probably 70, 80 year old Chuck. Uh, it didn't come with the key, no big deal. Didn't come with the reversing jaws, which is a downer, but for 50 bucks, couldn't go wrong. It's a three jaw six inch chuck and you can see something really drastically wrong here. I just had the jaws out and I thought well maybe I'll put them back in and just check and see because I thought they'd be off. They're, in, they're all in the wrong spots. So I found the numbers. There's a one over here. I think that's... can't make out that number there but it's supposed to be a two. And then a three over here. It's easy, this three and the one are easy to see, so. And the jaws are numbered wrong, they're all in the wrong spot, so. Someone didn't know what they were doing, they took the jaws out and uh, put them in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna pull this thing apart today. It's a really good quality six inch. There's numbers all over. So you got a 12 here and a 12 here, and then over here, three, no, an 804, 804 S7. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. And up on here, the same thing. So it should be pretty easy to line back up. There's no markings on the backer plate here. And I don't even know if it's. Looks pretty bang on. Looks like it was installed by a machinist. Someone who knew they're doing, they're what they're doing. But uh, the thread's the wrong. So it's the wrong. It's the right pitch, wrong size. So I got an inch and a quarter. Uh, eight threads per inch. I need an inch and a half for my uh, Atlas lathe. <clears throat> so we'll see what kind of shape this is in. Kind of looking at the jaws. You can see a lot of stuff in there. So I think they're going to be, <clears throat> I think we're going to find a lot of old grease and dried up dirt and crap and ships and you name it. Okay, I'm just about to open it up, so we might as well look at it together. If I can get it apart. I think I got, I'm going to have to go get a screwdriver or something. Go look in there. Does not want to open up. A little bit dirty, not too too bad, but dried right out on this side. There's no grease left in there, so we'll give it a good uh, cleaning with the uh, brake cleaner. I don't want to mix these up. I want to keep these three in the same spot. This is what I was most concerned with. 
a little bit of dirt in there, dried up grease. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it needs a good cleaning. Okay, well, that's what it looks like after about half an hour of cleaning and wire brushing it. And I wire brushed the, uh, all the outside, all the rust off that I could. It turned out pretty clean. Look at how expensive this thing is to make. Must be through the roof the cost of making one of these. Yeah, a lot more expensive than a four jaw. So I just got to locate the identifying marks. We're going to flip everything over and put it all in here. Put the back on. I got the bolts soaking right now and the jaws are, haven't been cleaned yet. They're soaking as well. So these three, you know, there's something funny. I should point out to you that the other chuck, the five inch, has... I'll go get the key from the drill press. All right, so I went and got the key off the chuck just to do a comparison here. And uh, this key actually fits right in the five inch chuck and it operates it. And look at the size comparison. So this is a way beefier truck. Kind of happy about that. I was worried about cranking down on the little five jaw break. There's one tooth missing right now on on the, uh, you call that a key, I guess. I don't know what it's called. A little gear that drives it in there. So I got a little dab of grease there. We're going to grease just the one side, the side that uh, these these little things drive the back of this. The front side where the scroll is, chips can get in there. So I just want to put oil on that side. No grease. Okay, so everything's lightly greased. And uh, it turns out I've got I got to flip this part over on top of this because these go into a hole in there so I'm gonna just lightly oil this my little precision oiler a lot easier to do it now. okay it's about to go to the other uh, I think I've oiled everything I could a little more clean than to do the other the jaws and the screws but this is ready. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So if you ever wondered what one of these look like on the inside, and the numbers match up. Oh, you know what? There was something I wanted to show you in there, but it's a little late now. The uh, It looks like a... Yeah, that's definitely a two. This shows up a lot better now. I'm going to open it up again, if it's not too hard, and I'm going to show you something really neat. The Skinner Chuck Company, like I said, was around from 1880 to, uh, to about 1950. No one's sure exactly what year, but they had the neatest logo. They have what oh, looks like a little two in here. You can see it right here. I don't know if that shows up too good, but I'll wipe that. All over this chuck has got these little, what looks like a two, but it's not a two. It's a little alligator in the shape of an S, so a Skinner S. Right there. A trouble right. You see that? Right there. So it's a little alligator. I think that's kind of cool. It's on uh, all three of these little driver things here. And I think it was on the housing too. So it's, oh, it's on all three jaws. That's what it's on. I could show you those too. Okay, so let's put it together again. I got it right here. Let's, check. Uh, let's see if we got it right. Man, no, oh, the numbers got a match. No, don't have it correct now. No problem, I'll just turn it. Okay. 
easy to take apart and put together, I tell you. Very easy to work on this thing. this week. Oh, one sticking out. There you go. You can't go wrong. There's no way you can put this together. You can mix up the parts, but I don't think you can put it together wrong. It only goes together one way. There we go. So we'll just turn it over. I'm gonna go clean up the rest of those bolts and you can see the numbers match here. That's the spot I was checking. I'm gonna put the bolts in the back. And uh, this job's pretty well done. I'll put the jaws in. There's the number one and here's the number two. So, there's only one way to put these in. They've got to be put in right. As you can see, there's a number one right here. So, we got to turn this back till we see the start of the scroll right there. And then we take the number one. You know, I don't. I didn't come with a key for the chuck, so I'm using my key from my four-jaw Chinese chuck. There we go. That started. But uh, that's no big deal. It's kind of a downer though. It did not come with the reverse jaws. So once again, I've got another three jaw with one set of jaws. And there you can see it coming around just in there. That's the start of the scroll right there. And there, here's number number three. And I made it slipping together beautifully. I'm just going to put a little more oil on it. You wouldn't believe how smooth it is right now. And one of these jaws. Because they're in wrong. Look at that. They're a nice addition to the shop. I just have one thing left I need to do is have... Um, I'm going to have a body machine the internal thread so it fits the spindle on the lathe. I want to put this on the lathe. And... Uh, that little five inch will be a backup or, you know, I probably won't, won't use it much or maybe I won't even use it at all anymore as long as I have this one now. But until I get that internal threads cut to fit the lathe, it's just going to sit around. But I could buy, I've got a couple of options. I could buy a backer plate like I did with the uh, four inch, I think four inch, the four jaw here. Oops. Dinner bell. So here's the four jaw Chinese chuck that I bought. I'm really happy with it. And that's a cast iron backer plate you buy with the uh, inch and a half, eight threads per inch. It comes just like this. The only thing I had to do was drill these four holes and I had to machine down. There's a little shoulder inside. I'm not going to take it apart, but in, in between where they join, there's a there's a um, location same as this chuck here. Most chucks have that. So there it is down there on the Atlas lathe. This lathe only came with this one little five inch three jaw with no reverse jaws. And I'm slowly getting what I need to uh, run this great little lathe. Thanks for watching.